welcome back to Crafting a Country Life. I hope your weekend is off to a good start. Um, it's Saturday morning here. The sun is finally out. It's been cloudy and raining here in uh, my area of New England for at least two weeks. Um, so we've gotten very little done outdoors. I did manage to uh, clean up my herb garden um, probably last month. Uh, but there has been absolutely no planting and gardening going on. So we're really looking forward to getting outdoors today and uh, enjoying this beautiful sunny day. Um, and before I do that, I wanted to jump on and share uh, some paper collect collections that I've received recently in the mail. Um, some of these were part of uh, my, my birthday gift. And uh, some of them I purchased, I had a credit with Amazon. So a couple of things I did purchase through them. Uh, but most of it comes from uh, Joann's actually. I'm going to start with the Buttons Galore and More monthly shipment that just arrived. And now they come in these beautiful, colorful boxes. You know, up until this shipment, they were just coming in a plain um, cardboard box. But I thought this was really festive and pretty. So this one is a summer theme from Buttons Galore and More. And let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay. I did go through this when it arrived yesterday, so um, I'll just un kind of unwrap this and let you take a peek inside. Comes in this beautiful green tissue paper, and just look at this. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, so we start off with a jar of blue and teal buttons in all different uh, sizes. So I thought these are, are great, and I just love the color, of course. Um, Let's see, this one is called Bally Blue. I don't know if you can see that on the, on the code there, but the color is Bally Blue. So that's the first item that came. And let's see, there is a package of jewels, also in that pretty aquamarine color. These make me think of mermaid, like ocean and mermaid colors. It'd be fun to do some summer uh, beach theme crafting with these. These are very sparkly. I love them. There's different sizes in the package. Let's see. Does this have a color name? This is called Dark Aqua. Okay. These will also be pretty in shakers. So there's that. And then a package of, this is the free gift that comes along in your shipment. And these are kind of a gold finish. There's anchors. Let's just see if I can, you know, I'll open this up and show you. There are anchors in here, and it looks like the other charm is a sun. Yeah, looks like a sun. So these would be beautiful as dangles on, uh, uh, like on a, on the spine of a, a journal. I love these anchors. These would look really pretty with the Maggie Holmes collection. What is it called? The Sunny Days, because it has kind of a vacation, ocean, beachy theme. So these would be fun to coordinate with that. Okay, and then let's see, there's a package of sparklets. These are in the, a pink colorway. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, and this one is called Pink Flamingo. There we go. So the sparklets. And then a container of a sequin mix. And these are again in that kind of aqua colorway. There's uh, little shells in there and circular um, sequins as well. And this one is called seashells. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then this package of pearls. It's called a box exclusive. I don't know if that means they have them available on their website. I, I mean, I haven't checked yet. But anyway, these are really pretty. Lots of fun. These would be really fun to craft with. And then a package of fish buttons. Look at these. Aren't these the cutest? There's different colors. Look at this little green one here. Oh, it's gonna be fun to use these. There's a pink one on the back side here, if you can see. Okay, and the last but not least, a little package of Summer Collection Beach Treasures. So there's shells, a little seagull, a nautilus shell, starfish, clam shells, what's on the back. A few more of the uh, shells there. What's this one? Oh, the shells, yeah. Yeah, 
So these are uh, these are lots of fun. We've got some nice colorways to work with for summer. So I'm really happy about this shipment. Pop these back in here. Close that up. And then they always include a 15% off coupon that you can use if you reorder anything from them. So we've got that. I'll tuck this away. Okay, and now I'd like to share um, these items. A lot of them came recently from um, Joann's. Um, they've had a 50% off sale the past few weeks. Some things I ordered online, and they had, a, I think it was $1.99 shipping, no minimum. So I took advantage of that, and they had the paper pads on sale 50% off. So, I, I, you know, I couldn't pass that up. And then this past week, they had the open stock of papers, designer papers, on sale as well. So let me just go through what I, what I got um, over here. Now, this is Parasol. This did not come from Joann's. This was part of a, a Cherry on Top shipment. So right over here, now I got these from Joann's, half price, Gingham Gardens. And some of these I'm sure you've seen, you know, you've seen, lots of people have been sharing the flip throughs on these. But I love the soft pale colors of these and a lot of them are great for backgrounds. Um, you know, when you're doing journaling or card making, embellishments, things like that. Okay, and then here's and of course, you know, the, the smaller pads give you um, everything on a smaller scale, which is nice. Okay, and again, this is the Gingham Gardens. Very, very pale. The colorway is very soft. Okay, and then it repeats. Okay, so that's Gingham Gardens. And I was in there yesterday and I picked these up. They were not on sale. However, I did have my teacher discount, so I used them. Uh, but the price was $3.99, and, you know, I thought, well, I could order them, but by the time I get done paying shipping and everything else, um, you know, I'm willing to pay to part with a little, you know, a little bit of, um, of that extra discount. So I picked this package of the Gingham Gardens Ephemera, and I'm just going to share the back so you can see what the pieces look like. Okay. They're very pale and pretty. So there's that. And then, uh, all right, here is the Gingham Garden, also from Joann's. And again, half price. I got the project pad. All right, so these have um, a number of solids in the back, which are nice. Um, very pale, and they match the printed papers. I almost wish they'd include a few less of the solid ones in these project pads, but it's all right. You know, it'd be nice to have a few more of the pattern papers, but it's okay. They'll all get used <laughs> one way or another, right? Okay, so these are the soft, pale patterns, and I love them. They have a really pretty kind of French antique country feel, this collection. Really like it. I'm not crazy about this with the black. No. Oh. Okay, and then the butterflies, and a couple of sticker sheets. So there are your alpha, alphas here, and then the sticker sheet here with the different icons on it. Okay, so that's the Gingham Garden project pad. And then, let's see, Woodland Grove is the next one that, I, and I'm actually really happy that Joann's is, is carrying more of the Maggie Holmes collections. Um, and to be able to get them on sale is always, always nice. Um, so Woodland Grove is next. So I picked this up. So these are the stickers, cardstock stickers. Okay, and here's the back. You can kind of see. Some of these icons remind me a little bit of Flourish, like the Peacock. Um, her collection that came out, oh, a number of years ago. And I have, I have quite a few of that as well different pieces to that collection okay and woodland grove here's the the smaller six by eight pad there's some foiled pieces in here as well these are so pretty and the tags tag page label page 
beautiful florals. And again, on a smaller scale than the larger pads generally are. There's a dark green background. Look at these pretty icons. And then the purple, blue with gold hearts, butterfly page, stripes. These collections have such a nice range of, you know, stripes and checks, small and large patterns. The colors are just beautiful. Oh, I like this too, this floral. Well, it's a camera page, black and white flowers, wood grain, Those half circles. I love this print. Isn't that pretty? It reminds me of those pretty calicos from the 1930s. The beautiful hydrangea. And then it repeats. So that's the Woodland Grove 6x8. Here is a package of ephemera. I picked these up yesterday, and again, they were not on sale, but um, I used my, my teacher discount and it took a little bit off. But it's nice to have a little bit of ephemera to get started with. Okay, and these are what's included. Very pretty. The butterflies, these are all gold foil. And these are acetate. Um, clear acetate with the white printing on them. Okay. And the Woodland Grove Project Pad. Now I've already dug into this. I have some a couple of things here I'm going to share with you in just a moment that I that I created just to try out the pad, um, and I picked up a lot of the double sided paper because the project pads don't have all of the patterns in them, but they did have quite a few of the double sided sheets as open stock, and they were all fifty percent off. So I have a big stack of those, and you know sometimes you like to have. The double sided, you know, if you're doing envelopes or something that you're going to see the back side on, um, like folios and folders. I am working on one here, it's not done yet. Um, so when it's done, I'll do, I'll do a, uh, a project share on this, but I am working on that one currently with the Woodland Gardens. So, um, the project pad, and it does come with a nice sheet of stickers here. Okay, and a page of alphas. And I'm not always crazy about the font that they use in the alphas. I wish they'd do something a little more scripty or a little more vintage looking. But anyway, I mean, they are pretty. I don't know, they'll get used. There's some foil pieces in the project pad. I love this one. And some stripes. So a few of them are a little bit different. Uh, the black with the gold frames. Leopards. I love this one. Isn't that pretty? They make great backgrounds. The card making or embellishments. And then this pretty little violet with the mint background. And really pretty soft prints. Here's a black gingham. And the, um, the mustard color with the pale pink flower. Yeah. And then, of course, these are the solids that coordinate in the back. Okay, so there's Woodland Gardens. Um, the other one that I fell in love with is this Bow Bunny Brighton pad. And again, I really like this one because it had kind of a French country uh, antique feel. Here's some of the stickers. Alpha page. Not crazy about those, but... There's some cute text at the bottom, text stickers. Better together, memory, sweet, love, today, etc. Okay, and then the pad itself. It's a pretty plaid with a gold foiling. Another gold foil on blue. Another gold foil. I'm not a big gold foil person myself, but it's nice to have a touch of it, but some of these like overall patterns are a little bit loud for my personal taste. Okay, and then this floral, the tone on tone roses, those are beautiful. And this one is one of my favorites. It's a pale, pale, pale blue floral lace. And here's some cut aparts. 
very pretty. Kind of, um, you know, the Tim Holtz vintage papers are all so dark. You know, for that reason, I'm not crazy about them, although I have quite a few of his, um, of his ephemera and papers and things, but I much prefer the, the brighter, lighter French country look of these vintage collections here. It's pretty with the green. The mint check, I love this one. It has kind of a distressed look around the edges. There's some kind of brown printed in there. And this pretty little check here. Pink on pink, tone on tone. I love this kind of French blue stripe. Okay, Argyle. And they almost look a little bit like vintage wallpaper. I guess that's why I'm drawn to them so much. Look at these beautiful, the solids in this pad are distressed. They look like canvas. I don't know if that shows up on the camera, but I really like that. The solids have a little bit of interest. They're not just plain like they are in the um, Maggie Holmes Project pads. So again, has more of a distressed look on these. This one looks like paint swirls. I don't know if you can see that. It might not show up on the camera too well, but yeah. So a few different colors to coordinate with the prints in this in this collection. Very pretty, very pretty um, collection. I do have the smaller pad for this as well. And then the double-sided sheets. I'm going to flip through these really quickly. I don't know if this is everybody, but you can scroll past this part if it's not to your liking. Okay, so here's the bow bunny. And the reverse side is just so, so pretty. It's got the orange and pink. Okay, and then this one, this is Woodland Grove. Front and back, love the check. Again, Woodland Grove, Gra graph paper on one side, polka dot on the other. Okay, this one here, Woodland Grove. I love this one. Woodland Grove, and I just, I love this color. And the front has a beautiful little floral wallpaper look to it. Woodland Grove, cut aparts. I got a couple of sheets of these, and these always get used up quickly. Back, a couple of those. Here's the uh, citrus. Front and back. Woodland Grove, cut aparts, tags, labels. Got a couple of sheets of that. The back has a marble, gray and black. Okay, this one is Bo, um, Bow Bunny's Brighton. So this will coordinate with what's in the project pad. Has the green and pink on one side, a uh, green and um, mint on one side, and the pink dot on the other. This one as well is the Brighton collection. Aren't these pretty? And you know, they'll coordinate with Maggie Holmes as well, with the Woodland Grove and some of her other collections, Parasol and Flourish. Oh, I just love these right up my alley. Of course, we all have different tastes, right? Everybody has their favorites. I love this. Looks like vintage wallpaper again. Makes me think of those beautiful French manor houses and the chateaus with the beautiful wallpapers and yeah. Okay, here's that beautiful pale blue floral lace. Again, that's Brighton. This is Brighton. Okay. Oh, look at this. Again, looks like wallpaper. Really pretty, soft and bright, floral. Here's a blue on blue stripe. I love this. And the plaid on the other side. Again, that's Brighton. Here's purple and blue. Brighton. Brighton collection. So I think the regular price on these was 99 cents. So 50% off. You know, 50 cents. Again, this is Brighton. Front and back. I love that pale dot background. Great for backgrounds. This one is also a favorite of mine. There we go. A little hard to see, but it's a blue on a pale pink. It's a little cornflower. And even the branding strip. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Has the lace, paper lace. Yeah, yeah, not so crazy about that one, but 
I do like the background on the other side. Here's a little pale pink on pink heart. This one is Gingham Gardens, front and back. Nice variety of stripes and small prints, florals. And again, this is the back side, which I love. Probably even more than the front side. <laughs> the front again. And I also love this one. This was in the project pad as well. And here's the reverse. So it has like a green on mint uh, herring bone. Game of Gardens right here. Coral on coral. And the reverse is ledger paper. Okay. King of Gardens. You can really see the colorways and the style of this is um, kind of art deco. Really pretty. And then this pretty Gingham Gardens pale buffalo check green and a green print on the other side of the botanicals. And of course the cut aparts. I got a couple sheets of these front you can see how pale. These are very soft and washed out. And the reverse is just like a, an ombre kind of a textured coral color to it. Okay, I think that's it, yeah. Oh wait, one more, here's the wood grain. Similar to what's in the, uh, the, the paper pads with the mint and white wreath on the back. Yeah, okay. And then the last item that I picked up, and I had a 60% off coupon, Otherwise, I probably would not have purchased this. But I'm so glad that I did because when I got it home and opened it up, I was pleasantly surprised with the amount of material that you get in here. Um, so this is the Woodland Grove card making kit. The regular price was $8.99, so I think I paid $3.49 for this package. And it comes with 20 cards. Let's open it up. 20 cards, 20 envelopes. I think there's four of each design or, but look, isn't that pretty? So this one's a little bit different than what's in the, in the project pad. And it has gold foiling front and back. And I mean, you know, you don't have to use them for cards. You could use, you could cut them apart and use them as card stock. So there's the, um, yep, there's four of each. And then here's a pretty purple and pink with a gold marble. This beautiful mint. Now the finish on these is satin. So it's not matte like the papers are. The finish is just a kind of a satin finish. Very, very pretty. Has a nice look to it. So there's the green. This one is the um, graph paper with a little bit of flower in the corner. See that? And then the black, gray and gray and white set of cards here. Okay, and then it comes with a, um, a sheet of um, puffy, you know, the puffy squares you take apart. And then here are the envelopes that go with There's a whole bunch of those. And a, a nice, generous package of ephemera, okay? And these, again, have a slightly satiny finish. They're uh, like a light cardstock weight, but heavier than what the regular packages of... Um, ephemera are. So there's a, there's a little bit heavier quality. Look at that. Little hearts. There's a cheetah in gold foil. Okay. Zebra. Okay. And then lots of little hearts. I don't know if you can see them here. I'll just kind of spread them out a bit. And then some flowers. Bows. Okay. And let's see if it tells on the box how many Okay, so there's 60 ephemera pieces. Here they are. Hold this up nice and close. Hopefully that focuses. Okay. And there are 63 stickers, a sheet of washi tape, your pop dots and envelopes, and then, of course, the cards. So these are your ephemera bits. They really, I love these. Okay, here's the peacock. This reminds me of Flourish, the Flourish collection. Okay, and then some larger ones as well. Okay, so there are tags here and some more. Love you. Here's a frame, flowers. Okay, and then these here. All right, so let's see. Here is the sheet of washi. 
So you can, you know, this peels off. You can cut these up, you know, however you'd like to use them. Washi sheet. And then the sticker sheets are here. Now, in my mind, this is about equivalent to um, the packages of um, stickers that you can buy. You know, how they come packaged like this, and then you've got stickers on one side and then more on the back. So there's four sheets. So this alone, you know, $5.99, $6.99 with some online sources. Um, these are all included in the box. So I think this is a really good buy for all that you're getting in the kit. So again, this is the Woodland Grove. Now they did have, I think they had the, the Brighton card making kit and then they had the other one from Paige Evans, Blooming Wild, also as a card kit. So if you do happen to get, get those 60% off coupons and you go in when the ephemeras and, and these things are not on sale, you can use your coupon to, uh, to pick one up. So that is, that is it for this haul. Um, I do want to quickly share the little projects that I made using the Woodland Grove collection. These are some little uh, coin envelopes that I put together. Okay, and they, I, they come in three sizes here. I just kind of used my judgment on how big I wanted them to be. And they open up. I'll show you the first one here. Okay, and they're, they have Velcro right here on the closure. And again, I used the double-sided card, open cardstock that I purchased from Joann's to make these. A little satin bow, it says forever at the bottom. And here's the back side here. So there's the first one. And then this one here, get this up nice and close so you can see it. Okay, this is your 10. There's a, uh, an ephemera piece here and a couple of tickets. Here's the reverse side here and the back. This one's a little bit larger. And then this tinier one here, use the uh, sticker, sticker set to uh, put that on here. This one says full of wonder at the top here. I used a gold foil doily that I cut out on my dye machine. And the reverse is the butterflies. So aren't these pretty? So I, my plan is I'm going to use at least one of these in this little folio that I'm working on. So when I get this done, as I say, I will, um, this is the uh, Gingham Gardens, by the way. It really coordinates nicely with the Woodland Grove. So when I get this done, I will share, do a project share. And I hope you enjoyed watching this, um, this haul and that you enjoy the rest of your weekend and hopefully can find some crafting time to squeeze in some projects that you'd like to work on. I hope to do that myself. <laughs> so take care. Bye for now.